So finally, in terms of these, I do have a tutorial on the 3x4x5. It uses the same strategies. The only issue is, of course, going from the cuboid form, the, not, the shape-shifted form, to the cuboid form. Um, and that we, we discussed in terms of how to do that, of putting that in line. Uh, just as practice, here's the 2x3x4. And again, you can start scrambling this with starting off with various 180 degree turns. And when you're tired of the 180 degree turns, then you can start doing you can start doing the shape shifting turns. Make it that much more challenging. All right, so we have a pretty good scramble here, and how are we going to solve this cute little thing? Well, I want to make it so that I can do 90 degree turns in this angle, so I can do all the algorithms that I know so well. And I'm just going to try to get it back to cuboid form in a way that I can solve by 180 degree turns. So this is going to be the 2 portion, this is going to be the 4 portion, so because I have even to even symmetry, then I know that I can make my 90 degree turns. So I'm going to define this side here first. Here's a red and an orange. So here's a red here. I'm just going to make that arbitrarily my red side. So turn this here. This is red. This is orange. I'm going to start filling in my bottom layers. I've already got uh, yellow and red here, so I can move that into place. Now I'm just going to do it from the bottom here. So what I'm looking for is the orange and the, uh, and the yellow. Here's an orange and yellow. I want to move this down here. Now, if I exchange this, it's going to be flipped up like that, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to actually move it here, turn it this way, and this is going to exchange down here, but this is going to flip up. So I'm actually going to end up with an orange and yellow down here, which is what I want. If I just do my 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So you see what my, my goal is with there. I still have the red here, and I've got the orange and yellow. What about the other orange and yellow? It's over here. So I'm going to want to move that into here. So I'm going to turn that over here. And because it's going to flip-flop it as it turns it, that should give me what I want. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So you can see that just by using my strategy, I'm able to get it back to the cube form. Now I've got parity over here, so I'm going to work that. Hopefully that will all come out in the wash. But let's see what I got here. I could actually fix this now if I wanted to, but uh, uh, by doing the parity switch over here. So this is the orange side. Here's the orange and green. I want the other orange and green over here. So where is it? Well, it's over here, the orange and green. So I'm actually going to do, I'm going to pretend like all these are corners, um, basically. So what I'm going to do is do a couple of, I'm going to move this corner to here, then move it to here. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to move it like this. This will move it to here. So. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, turn, turn, 2R, UI, 2R, 2R. And we might as well flip these back. Okay, so what that did is I put it over here. So the next step is I, I flip it again. Now this is going to switch with this one. So it may be a little hard to visualize, but that's the challenging part of it. But I'm using the same strategy to see what happens. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, turn, turn, 2R, U, I, 2R, U, 2R. And then turn it back. So. That was able to um, get that back, get get that back where I wanted. Now I just have to flip these guys. So I'm going to turn this over here to flip flop these guys here. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Turn, turn. 2R. UI, 2R. U, and finally 2R. So without worrying about the cube form, we're able to get it back, and we're able to do exactly what I wanted to do. So just flip that. Now, of course, the parity exists, still exists here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find ways to 
um, fix, fix this parity situation here. So to do that, I'm just going to move it on its side and do exactly the same thing that I've done with the one parity side, which is going to be 2 U R F, cutting it in here, F, then turn 1 to U U, and 2 F R U, and turning it here. So we got all of our sides in here. So I did that just to kind of demonstrate. Now the rest is really just a matter of, of using our parity switches to put things in. So let's look for opportunities that we have. Well, we've got here and here. I can move these greens to here, these yellows to here, and exchange um, these guys. So we've got a 2U. And that's exactly what it did. Brought those in here. So let's move these into place like so. And we just look for other opportunities. And part of the fun of this is just doing all the flipping around. So let's flip this and this back into place. New U, 2R, 2F, 2U, 2U, 2F, 2R, and to you. So it did put those back into place. Let's double turn this. And again, I'm just looking for opportunities. So here's this and here's this. Let's turn this like so. And we can move these into position. And we'll do the same thing over here. Put these into position. So that put those back. Now we just look for other opportunities. I could turn this over here. I see I can move these two. See what we've got. We can move these two in line. Even though the color scheme here is wrong, we can still move these into place. So these are looking good. Let's double turn, whoop, without destroying it, double turn this. And now we can try to intuitively put these back into place here. Put this here, put this here, and put this here. And this ends up in this position. So U R F. And do the 2U, then F, R, U. Turn this here, ending us with this position here, this easily fixed position here. So U, R, F, U, 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 2, F, 2, R, to you and it's solved. And the reason why I went through that painstakingly thing with this really shoddily put together cube is to show you just how you can use the same strategy. And the fun thing about these cuboids, these brick cuboids, is the fact that you have to do a lot of positioning and you never know where things are going to go. So that's it with this cube. So that wraps up the tower power examples and uh, tutorials. Uh, the main reason why I did all that was because I wanted to show that it only takes a couple of different strategies and you should be able to do any type of cuboid and any type of arrangements. What I'm really looking for and the main reason for doing this is to encourage people to buy lots of these products so that there can be plenty of support so that the Garrett's of the world, the Tom Z's of the world, the Shims of the world, the Olds's of the world, the brilliant producers and makers of these cubes will have incentives to continue to um, uh, to make these. What I'm looking for is a is a 4x4x6 four by four by or 4x4x7 four by four by or a 5x6x7 would be good or um, you know a 5x7x7 seven seven, every different variation of that. Not in that it's particularly new um, methods of solving but just it adds more challenge by putting more centers in. So this is a call to arms Buy these products, solve these products, and let's see some more of those. And anybody out there, any builders who have any more of these to sell or any more of these, let me know. I'm very interested. Thanks for watching.